Hey Spirit Tribe, Gigi here with Spirit Readings and I'm so glad and so happy that you're able to join me here. Um, today we are going to do a um, spirit board session. So um, I hope that you guys are enjoying these, looking forward to these as much as I am. Um, when I first started working with tools, I guess we could say, um, I actually started with the spirit board instead of tarot or oracle cards. So, um, and I really haven't seen many people working with them or, or anything. And trust me, there's been a lot of trial and error uh, when it came to first working with it and learning to, you know, bless and ask for protection and and all of that good stuff. So I feel like I've come a long way with it and I'm still a little more comfortable with the board as uh, versus, you know, tarot and oracle cards. Um, just because I've been working with it longer and I have that relationship. And even when I do tarot and oracle card readings, I still work with the spirit board. It's one of the ways that helps me keep my focus, keep my connection open and strong. And um, so I'm, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that I built that relationship with it. And um, if you're new here, I want to say hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you um, decided to give this a shot, a chance, and I hope that you'll decide to stick around and subscribe. Um, for those that are coming back, again, hello and welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, so this reading is going to be for my collective. It's for the general collective. It's for each and every single one of us. So please remember to take, um, you know, only what resonates uh, for you personally and whatever doesn't fit, whatever doesn't feel right, that's perfectly okay. You set it aside for someone else. You know, we never try to force things to fit, feel right you know, when they just don't, you know, we, we saw right on out the door with that mess, all right, okay, and, you know, if it doesn't apply, you just go on ahead and you let her fly, you guys, so, um, I asked on all platforms, you know, for people to drop comments down below, uh, if they would like one free question, and maybe I didn't give people enough time uh you know not that i'm in a big hurry or anything but you know i realize it is sunday night people are you know winding down getting ready for a new week up ahead and you know i kind of last minuted it <laughs> so um but i did have one question from someone and i will answer that you know after um, we get through the reading and everything, and I'm very grateful and thankful to Melly Mel, a friend of mine on um, Instagram, for her question. Um, and she subscribed to my channel today, and I'm very grateful and thankful for that. Um, getting closer to having 285, I think we're two away from that, so that's what, 15 away from 300, if I can math. <laughs> It's been a long day, guys, so my math skills are probably not all that great. All right, Spirit, is there a word for my collective for those who are watching? Okay, we have a so coming in. So, um, you know, we, we often talk about the harvest and, you know, wanting a wonderful harvest you know to just reap and reap all these wonderful things but you know we have to prepare for that we have to get ready you know make sure we're in the right frame of mind um, our emotions you know are balanced we're feeling good we've got 
you know, our soil is ready. It's, it's ready to nourish the, you know, goodness that we're putting out there, you guys. And, you know, really checking in with ourselves and, and you know, deciding what it is that we want to manifest, what it is that we want to sow, and, and then making sure that we're prepared in, inside and out, uh, you know, and then once we do have it in there, you know, that we're not digging it up every few seconds to see if it's growing, um, you know, we're trusting and believing, and, um, and everything and um, you know letting things take their time you guys and uh, giving it space to, to grow and, and that we're providing you know nourishment along the way you know we're feeding the positive and you know we're plucking the weeds out we're watering you know we're taking good care of, of our seeds and you know, so there's a lot of work that goes into sewing and um, be patient is is something that I'm hearing here from spirit. You know, the the bigger something is, the longer it's it can take sometimes, and it requires a lot of work and a lot of patience on our part. So be mindful is uh something that i'm hearing here as well yes thank you spirit all right what do we have coming in next all right we have west coming in and west represents the element of water you guys which is the power of our emotions so you know everything needs water you know we can only go so long without without drinking some water having some water and you know it also represents our ability to connect in powerful ways with our own feelings you guys you know really uh checking in with ourselves and um, if you want to find West energy, you know, the element of water, you can look for it in oceans, lakes, rivers, and streams. Um, to heal your emotions, you need to express your feelings openly and honestly and be as active in giving comfort to others as you yourself wish to be comforted you know it, it's give and take up and flow you know is what I'm hearing here so what you want to see you must first you know put out there you guys so I hope that that makes sense all right what do we have next okay it looks like we have tourmaline the gemstone tourmaline coming in and it's all about tolerance here you guys um tourmaline is thought to bring out the sort of emotional serenity that can help its wearer distinguish between material and spiritual success um it's believed to have great power in helping to make wise and useful career choices used in meditation practices and rituals it is said to enhance feelings of gratitude and respect a protective stone i wear a black tourmaline that my nephew caden got for me um it can act you know as a shield against unwholesome or otherwise negative influences the stone is used to dispel sadness and grief and also to encourage patience and openness as well as an appreciation for all the good things that life has to offer. It can be used in attraction rituals to invite money through success in business. Folklore suggests that tourmaline creates balance in physical energy by banishing anxiety and foggy thinking. 
Wearing tourmaline increases flexibility, objectivity, and compassion. Uh, New Age healers use the stone as a tool for cleansing a person's aura. The colored energy field possessed by all beings that can be seen and interpreted by trained eyes. So, um, you know, when tolerance and understanding are called for, much can be accomplished through periods of meditation and silence. Appreciate the many wonders of life. And I also have a piece of black tourmaline that I keep close by. So, um, really love tourmaline. All right, that was an awesome message. And again, you know, it feels like this is dealing with our emotions right now, it would appear. So, all right, spirit. I believe that is lavender. Okay, not a color I get very often. So, lavender is the color of spiritual healing dispelling sadness, loneliness, and mental confusion. So it's helpful in opening the third eye and clearing away karmic debris from past lifetimes. On the material level, it is known as a shade of refinement and delicacy. Like pink, it is associated with femininity, it can also reflect romance, sentimentality, or old age, especially in women. Like the plant for which it is named, this gentle shade is helpful in treating bronchial and digestive disorders. It is a good color for use on a ceremonial altar or in a room where meditation or rituals are practiced. So, you know, again, um, emotions, you know, healing, you guys. So, wow, beautiful, wonderful, amazing energy there. All right, let's see. We have cancer, and we are currently uh, in cancer season still. We have the new moon in cancer actually coming in. Uh, June 21st to July 22nd, some key words are nurturing, fertile, clairvoyant, protective, heredity, emotions, moods, consumerism, feelings, intuitions, wax and wane, reflect, respond, adapt, habits, cycles, motherhood, unconditional love, our past, cooking, Homemaking, passivity, memories of childhood, caregiving, secrets, conservation, comfort, antiques, and women's issues. So, uh, the symbolic meaning of cancer. Let me grab a drink here, real quick. Gotta wet my whistle. So, um, those born under the astrological sign Cancer are well known for their ability to nurture others. They are especially sensitive to the ways people communicate their feelings and can be easily affected by the thoughts and feelings of those they care about. In astrology, the moon is considered a planet and is associated with the sign of Cancer. The moon's ever-changing shape and its effect on the constantly shifting ocean tides are like our ever-changing moods. The symbol for cancer is the crab. Feeling insecure makes them want to withdraw into their own version of a crab's protective shell. The reason Cancerians are sometimes not as secure and nurturing as they wish they were is because people do not arrive in the world already an expert in the things their sun sign is known for. Um, they have come into this world with the challenge of the astrological sign Cancer because they want to learn how to be secure, sensitive, and nurturing. This correlates 
perfectly with the fact that Cancer is one of the three water signs. The other two are Scorpio and Pisces. People who are water signs are very imaginative and emotional. Cancer is the water sun sign that is concerned with protection of home and family in the manner of a mother bear protecting her cub. Oh, you better watch out. Cancers can be oversensitive, especially when they've given so much that they feel drained. So, you know, it's important to keep pouring back into yourself, to take that time to rest, restore, replenish, rejuvenate, refresh yourself, you guys. Um, so, I actually have Venus in Cancer, and one of my nodes is in Cancer. I think it's the South Node. Um, not 100% sure there. <laughs> but, alright. Let's see what we have next. No surprise there. I was, I was already feeling like here in Weeping Willow. So, Willow is also for healing. Uh, not the first time that has come up. The willow embodies the true meaning of the enchanted life and its ability to create a sense of healing energy. It has feminine or moon energy and affects the workings of the subconscious mind. Its vibrational energy is associated with love, healing, inspiration, and eloquence. It signifies knowledge that comes through dreams, philosophical discourse and the meditative state. The willow represents a time that is ripe for bringing magic into everyday life. Scrying, wish magic, and other enchantments not only are powerful now, but have resonance as daily practices. One who is drawn to the willow is beautiful, slender, and empathic, a capricious but honest dreamer. Like the willow, we can bend without breaking, renewed and ready to go forward. I absolutely love that, learning to bend without breaking, you guys, and that takes a lot of strength in order to be able to do that and, you know we also hear renewed you guys and once we're renewed we're able to move forward you know with with fresh vibrant energy so yes beautiful wonderful amazing i absolutely love the tree messages all right let's see who would like to be our enchantress guide and we have the Enchantress of Wellness coming in here. So, uh, not really a big surprise. So, um, sit quietly for a while, inhaling the healing powers of the Wellness Enchantress. Remember or imagine how it feels to be healthy, peaceful, and strong. Visualize a positive white light of healing energy around your whole being. Experience it as a truth. See yourself as whole and know that you are whole. Holy you and holy you, right? Say, Enchantress, I release my discomfort to you and accept your many blessings of love, light, and laughter. Whenever disease or pain arises, repeat the prayer three times while meditating and envisioning health and wholeness radiating through your body, through your mind, and through your spirit. You know, they all work hand in hand, you guys. They all work together. You know, all is well and all will be well. So it's something that I'm also hearing. All right, what do we have next? Okay, we have the number five, it looks like, coming through. So, the number five symbolizes adventure, creative energy, passion, and an optimistic point of view. It represents constantly shifting activity as well as non-traditional behavior and unconventional ideas. 
The number five has a certain esoteric quality as well since it signifies the pentagram, a five-sided star often used in rituals and spell making. It also calls to mind the five senses. The number five is representative of attachments, sexual... Uh, uh, la, 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 I can't even talk. I cannot say that word for some reason. Assignations? <laughs> My brain is just like block. <laughs> Physical attraction and romantic perfection. It can symbolize a talented artistic individual who may also be self-indulgent, undependable, and morally weak. In contrast, it can suggest genius or a person of many special gifts who channels ideas through him or herself and out to the world. The energy of the number five is spontaneous, undisciplined, changeable, and liberating. So, wow, you guys, um, you know, check in with yourself, check in with your emotions, and and don't forget to water yourself, you guys. And, and if that comes out in the form of tears, that's perfectly okay. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading and the message here. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. Smash the heck out of that like button, that old thumbs up button. You know, give the old razzle-dazzle pizzazzle there. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love and appreciate that so very much. I love seeing growth. I love seeing expansion. And I love being able to interact with you guys on a regular basis. Um, all right, so Melly Mel um, asked for some guidance from Spirit when it comes to her career. So let's see what Spirit um, has for Melly. All right, Spirit, when it comes to Melly's career. What is it that she needs to know or that you want her to know? Thank you for your guidance, your wisdom, and your truth. And for your blessing and protection as well. So, so far what I'm getting is to focus on good things happening, um, like a raise, a promotion is something that is also coming through. You know, visualize how good that would make you feel and, um, you know, a little more jingle in your pocket would definitely be a good thing. And, you know, don't let fear, doubt, and worry creep in and rob you of your joy. Um, you know, you're a hard worker. You're a good worker. Um, you work well with others. And, um, you know, there may be some jealousy uh, still going on, you know, behind the scenes even. But don't worry about it. You know, um, spirit's going to keep taking you to the next level you're going to be where you're meant to be and the things that are meant for you are already yours and they're meant to come to you like I can see like manifesting and really attracting like a magnet pulling pulling those blessings to you and you know Focus on you, focus on what you bring to the table and the good work that you do and know that you will be victorious in whatever you put your hand, heart, and mind to. So thank you so much for your question, uh, Melly, and for giving me a, a chance to show a little bit of how that works, uh, like when people pay to, you know, have a question, um, which we have certainly done plenty, um, and I always look forward to connecting with you and doing reads uh, with you. Um, so, all right, you guys, um, 
I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, if you would like to book a reading with me, that information is usually in the description, um, my email, or if you Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, even on here, um, you know, if you message, I, I can always give information uh, if you would like. Um, and I want to say thank you, blessed be, namaste, and goodbye.